Hello, dear people. Uh, welcome to this course called Nomad Notes. Uh, on this course, we are going to learn how to use Apollo and how to use GraphQL um, in an offline way. So we're going to learn how we can use and how we can make an app completely 100% with GraphQL, 100% with Apollo to manage local state with nothing on the internet, everything local and everything offline. And we're going to learn how to do this with the need of Redux or without, without the need of Redux and without the need, the need of the context API. Um, I, for my part, replaced Redux long time ago because I realized that I can manage almost everything or everything with Apollo local state and with GraphQL. And uh, I like the GraphQL language. I like the specification. I like what it does. I like how it works. So I just uh, decided to learn how to replace Redux with it. Uh, people usually think that GraphQL is only something to replace um, the Redux part of the API and calling the data and stuff. But this course is going to show you how you can make something like this called Nomad Nodes uh, only with GraphQL and how you can handle local state with no Redux and with no context API. So this is the website we're going to make. It's very simple. It's fairly easy uh, to make. Uh, it's called Nomad Notes. And here we can come and we can add a note. So we can say, I don't know, I'm studying Nuber clone. All right. There is a save button over here. And also we can uh, use Markdown. So we can say something like introduction. And then introduction will be, I don't know, theory, theory, um, something else, and other thing. I don't know, whatever. Uh, the cool part starts here that we click save and we go back to Nomad Notes, but now Nuber Clone is here. This is all in local state. There is no API. Uh, this is not saved anywhere, only in your computer, because when I refresh, this will be offline save for me. I'm refreshing and it stays there. We're going to use local storage for this. And now I can click on Nuber clone. I can see what I just wrote and I can edit it as well. And I can say, I don't know, I forgot, forgot this. And I can save and there it is. So yeah, this is it. This is a very, it's a very simple project. There is not much to, to um, learn about theory. I just want to show you a little bit, a couple of rules. And I want you to see me doing this because I really would like you to replace Redux if you can with something more sexy, such as React Apollo and GraphQL. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Join me inside and I will see you there. Um, let's get started. Bye-bye.